A string of homicides this year in one county had the sheriff holding a news conference tonight and taking to Facebook to address the violence. Three of the four killings in Bertie County have happened just since last Tuesday, making the first four months deadlier than all of 2022. Jalen Holloway was at the news conference tonight with Sheriff Tyrone Ruffin and is live now with what he had to say. Jalen. It seems like a dark cloud is over Bertie County right now. Those are the words Sheriff Tyrone Ruffin used tonight to open today's press conference, Dave. He says the recent violence is brutal, but believes they will find a way to stop it soon after gathering leads in areas that people say are troubling. Bertie County Sheriff Tyrone Ruffin was emotional at a somber press conference Monday night after deputies say another life was lost due to gun violence. Last night, Mr. Tony Watford, 58 years old, was shot and killed outside of his home. Watford's death Sunday night is the third homicide Bertie has seen in less than a week. Just last Tuesday, deputies say Ricky Gilliam was killed shortly after his wife says he went to answer the door. And two nights later, deputies say they went to a home in Lewiston, Woodville, where they found Horace Lassiter shot dead outside. Now each one of these violent crimes has made a heavy impact on our county. There have been four homicides since 2023 began, with the first happening back in February after deputies say 80-year-old Lan Rawls was fatally stabbed. Robert Reed is charged in her murder. Ruffin says Gilliam, Rawls, and Watford all being over 50 years old has caused some to believe the murders are specifically aimed at older people. However, he cleared up those rumors. I would say the information that you have received about some of these cases targeting the elderly are not true. Pastors and county officials like Rob Wesson were also in attendance at Monday night's press conference. The chairman of the Board of Commissioners believes the persistence from Ruffin and other leaders can will Bertie County out of what he is calling a rocky patch. No stone will be unturned. We will make sure that everything is done, not only to protect you, but to bring to justice. At the end of today's press conference, Ruffin mentioned that Bertie County has seen a string of violence similar to what is happening so far this year once before in 2016. And he says things eventually got better then, and he trusts they will do the same this time around, Dave. All right, thanks, Jalen. And Ruffin also says although a suspect has been arrested in Rawls' murder and they're searching for Mackenzie Watford, the son of last night's murder victim in his death, they still need the public's help in Gilliam's and Lassiter's deaths.